Hey everyone, Sid here with another video on my RC cars and uh, if you haven't subscribed please find my channel RC Adventures Amsterdam and subscribe because I do a lot of cool things in this channel like building this monster beetle from Tamiya I mean just look at it guys looks so cool with the driver and I have a video running it on 3S and also a time-lapse video of where I built it and today we have something very similar we have another Tamiya kit this is a licensed Volkswagen body and I love this van I don't know about you guys but I'm really a fan of this body structure and uh, this is the Volkswagen Type 2 it's built on the M06 chassis the T1 M06 chassis with the rear mounted motor rear wheel drive so it's a two wheel drive and this is a 1950s Volkswagen bus that was designed on the legendary Beetle and then it was adapted with the chassis and suspension and other components but this is a classic bus Volkswagen bus guys and uh, it's an official licensed product by Volkswagen which makes it even more interesting you can just see the details on the wipers the windows the emblem the lights here door handles it just looks so cool guys let's see if there's anything else on the box uh, wheelbase of 239 millimeters long wheelbase and it's a 1 by 10 scale officially um, made in the Philippines 2019 Tamiya so manufactured in 2019 this one comes with a speed controller which can do go forward and reverse i guess um but yeah usually you have to supply your own radio controller and uh, receiver and let's have a look at the tune-up parts that you can have for this which is not included in this kit and these are the ball bearing, the aluminium steering posts, the high torque servo saver, um, tires and suspension parts. You have some metal parts for the suspensions, the springs and the rear uprights. Then you also have a better motor. Yeah. You can have more better drive shafts, universal drive shafts, as well as reinforced freewheel axle set if chassis reinforced axle set if you want and like i was saying the separately needed items would be a receiver a transmitter an esc you need a servo for the front steering and a battery and a charger and um, everything else is included in the box so it uh, it features a bathtub style chassis it's very common for tamiya and the battery is placed in the center which is quite nice then you have the low center of gravity and the electronics are on either side as you can see you have a servo here rear mounted motor realizes a rear motor rear wheel drive layout which emphasizes tire traction for superb stability and controllability blah 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 chassis may be assembled to one of the three so you could change the wheelbase lens that's what it says it could be 210 225 239 which makes it compatible with more m chassis bodies uh, from tamiya and what else does it say of course you have to paint the body so the paints are not included but the body itself is included this is the beginning of the microbus that volkswagen brought it to its fans and was loved it it has such character guys and uh, and yeah this kit has the whole 23 window uh, type model that you're gonna recreate but let's take a peek inside now Whew. 
So let me place that here. Let's see if I can balance it. Yeah. So very nicely tucked in kit. So here's the body. Mm. Unfortunately, you would have to cut this body on the wheel wells and around the arches. Just not too bad if you have done it before. But yeah, you would need some special equipment to cut the leg sand or just your exacto knife or uh, like I have a hobby knife that I use. This this is the best for me. It's a Revel hobby knife that you can change the blade off. But look at this body guys and there's the iconic Volkswagen logo on the front. Um, you have all the windows. Wow, this looks cool. I'm gonna put it on top of here. Oops, yeah. Okay, so you have the tires. I found two tires. There should be two more. Um, plastic body posts. There will be a lot of plastic parts as far as I know. This is interesting. Some foam parts that you can uh, use. Found the rims, silver rims matching the picture, giving it that classic iconic look. Let's see, the two more tires. I wonder why they packed the tires separately. We'll find out when we do this kit, I guess. But the four tires, rims. And this, I think, is the speed controller that comes with it with the Tamiya type connector let's see if you're gonna use this or not probably makes sense to just open it up and see what it looks like I do prefer to go brushless and use LiPo batteries even if it's not brushless I do have a lot of Tamiya batteries lying around which I haven't been used for a long time okay this is cool so this is a brushless controller which can also be used as a brush controller i guess but you do have a tamiya connected then let's see if we would use that and a massive switch the biggest that i've ever seen <laughs> this is this is too big guys i mean this is the speed controller and this is the switch for it anyway and uh a bunch of instructions for the speed controller love the japanese text although i can't read it makes it feel so authentic that it comes from tamiya so this is the o4s i've i've dealt with this esc before i actually have one lying around somewhere let's see what else do we have plastic parts lots and lots of plastic parts to cut out and build Uh, this is interesting More plastic parts again, what is this supposed to be? Let me know in the comments guys if you know what this is supposed to be looks cool More plastic parts uh, and yeah, this is the motor plate right here for holding the motor and the transmission to the drive shafts the Tamiya ah oh, these are the shock towers if I'm not wrong more plastic parts looks like uh, the turn knuckles right here more plastic parts but these are heavier plastic parts so I'm guessing this is for building out the chassis this again is part of the chassis molded plastic quite hard it's not flexible at all which is really nice and strong again the other part of the chassis we have a servo horn here we have other bits and parts all plastic but 
the chassis is very stiff and made out of molded plastic which i like for your antenna the longest pipe you could see they could find i guess and this is a big chunk of things i'm gonna take it out So here we have the Tamiya brushed motor. I think this is a torque tune motor. To be honest, I have one of these lying around as well. Like I said, I tried to go brushless. Um, but yeah, to be honest, this is more of a scale vehicle. So it doesn't really matter if it goes fast or slow. So these are the rod ends that I can see here. For the front assembly, drive shafts, all the metal parts are kind of in here, screws, other bits and pieces. Should be a shock kit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice, nice spring. So, I don't know if you can see, but the front springs, I think, are softer, which is a bit thinner. The wire is a bit thinner. And these are the rear shocks. You can see they are a bit thicker. To provide that uh, extra stability so i think these are the shock parts we have the gears here all plastic gears again i think shock parts shock mounting part so many pins grateful for tamiya <laughs> for providing me so many body pins which I really don't like. I think I'm gonna magnet mount this body because it's not gonna be bashed or anything, right? It's it's going to be a scaler. So I'm gonna magnet mount it. Let's see how it goes. And uh, we have these metal gears here for the differentials. Yep, these are differential gears. And uh, we have some grease here, Tamiya grease. Cross wrench. I have 20 of these now from all the RC cars anyway and uh, oh, I see some uh, bushings they're not ball bearings they're bushings so that's something you can upgrade if you want or you can continue with these I'm gonna continue for now and, uh, this is the masking sheet and I've been told it's going to be a lot of time that is taken to mask this literally has from a until z or something of masking parts anyway we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there and then finally the loads and loads of stickers again this is going to take a lot of time i've heard so in this build the body is the biggest part of the build because you want to make it as scale and accurate as possible this it's like safety or something important information concerning this kit extra care should be taken to provide to avoid personal injury we'll make sure of that care should be taken with metal parts okay great tubes lubricant 14 points of what you should and should not do if you're new to the hobby to kit building then uh, please do read this i mean yeah it helps so, let's take out all the documents so we have a document on how to make the how to cut the body and then make the holes for all the other parts to go in and uh how to paint it so uh, tamiya led lighting unit sold separately okay so the lighting unit is not in there so you need to get it separately definitely gotta put in some spare lights that i have and uh, yeah this is 10 steps on how to prepare the body so this is one instruction and this is the instruction for the chassis so so guys, with this chassis, you can, this M06 chassis, you can get as many 
different kinds of wanton bodies as you like and uh, and do the kit so one kit works for all i like that coil spring damper unit sealed gearbox with differential battery pack not included coil spring damper unit in the front as well and then you have some foam bumpers and i've done this monster beetle before and a few tamiya kits before the instructions are absolutely amazing as well as the diagrams they are very accurate um tamiya definitely make sure you get that japanese quality you know in all your rigs and uh, yeah looking forward to the build it's a uh, winter time i have some holidays if you also have some holidays this is like a great kit to start with it's like 200 dollars i think in the us or uh, 150 to 200 dollars uh, can be a bit more or less depending on where you live for me in europe it was around 180 euros it's roughly 200 dollars and uh, look at the quality of this uh, kit guys the, the illustrations the pages they have just perfected the art of creating a kit the engineering behind it and uh, this is a pleasure to build each tamiya kit so that's it for this video guys i'm gonna build this out probably make like a time lapse video and i'm gonna paint it in the classic iconic red and white because i have that paint lying around as well so oh i just figured out something this is the bumper kit yes so this is the front bumper and i think there will be a rear bumper as well so this is what it is really cool looks cool anyway Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe. Most of you guys are not subscribed and it just helps me grow this channel and reach the thousand subscriber mark that I want to reach so that I can keep keep on doing this as a part-time job or a hobby. And uh, yeah, thanks for support so far. I never expected that people would even like to hear me or watch what I do with my toys, but uh, you guys have shown me a lot of love. And I'm really, really appreciative of that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, and uh, thanks for that. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye. Hey, guys, if you like my content, please subscribe and ring the bell icon, like, comment, and share the video as well. Thanks.